Hey guys, welcome back to the studio in Nashville, Tennessee. First, before we get started, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you like these type of videos, challenging your thought process and your approach to the Helix. I'm so excited for this video today. This is gonna be super fun. Uh, heads up right now, it's a little on the nerd side as far as learning about synths and oscillators and uh, you know frequencies and things like that. It's, it's not traditional guitar meets amp meets tone, all that stuff. This is a little bit different for today, but I think you're really gonna love it. It has been a few months since the last video and I'm really sorry about that, but I've had the great joy and privilege of getting to mix projects and produce projects for a couple of different artists. I love doing that and that kind of eats up a lot of time. So I uh, apologize, but we're back and we're starting to build on a new series of videos. Uh, something for the musician that maybe doesn't have a band or is a you know solo player. Maybe your performance is a one man band with a simple laptop rig with a, you know some playback tracks, but you want to utilize the helix for vocal effects and synths and you know bass tones and things like that. The Helix is an amazing tool, and today I'm gonna show you something that not a lot of people know the Helix can even do. Just so you know, this preset will not work in an HX stomp. It won't work. It only works on Helix Rack, Helix Floor, and Helix LT. This is something I didn't really know the Helix could do until, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago, and I just, didn't quite know what to do with this um, until I started getting into modular synthesis. Uh, if you don't know what modular synthesis is, it's like, you know, you have a keyboard, everything's in the keyboard, it sounds great. Well, modular synthesis is essentially all the pieces that make up the sounds in that keyboard, all the, you know, the audio sources and how you can affect the tones and you can, all the ability to change the tones and pitches it's actually split out into individual components and individual pieces. So that way you can tailor make whatever synth you want or whatever type of sound you're looking for. Uh, this type of sound is used a lot in um, kind of modern soundtrack work. Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, they do it a lot in a lot of their soundtrack scores and things like that. A lot of cool drones um, with interesting, you know, rhythm sources in it. And it's just, it's a totally different sound than playing a keyboard part or trying to build a pad or anything like that on in like a software synth. I know that this is definitely a little bit more on the advanced side of Helix routing and thinking about using the Helix as a band member um, or a slightly more advanced tool. So if you're interested, hit me up. There's an email address in the description. We can get a lesson scheduled and I can walk you through exactly how I'm routing this, how you can use the three note oscillator, the four note oscillator, get noise and crazy, you know, pitch squeals and all that stuff. Cause it definitely is a little bit more interesting and advanced than basic overdrive, delay, amp, reverb out. So anyway, if you're interested, Hit me up for a lesson, we'll get you scheduled. I've built something within the Helix that I can change chords, I can change notes. I've got a tremolo synced up with things. I got a chorus doing some random uh, wave jumps and things like that. And it's really, it's kind of opened my eyes to a whole new way to use the Helix. And I'm really excited to kind of show you what it is, soloed out from the mix of the song and hear how, you know, show you how you can just kind of go nuts with it. And it can do so much more than just play guitar, put an amp on it, and metal. It can do so much more than metal. So much more. So let me go over a few things about this. This patch does not require a guitar to be plugged into it. It requires nothing to go into the input source at all. All. It is literally an internal sound source that the Helix gives you. So the Helix has a few pedals in there that most people have never touched, never play with, they don't know what to do with them or how to apply them to their rig. Um, there is a three OSC generator, three note generator, and a four OSC generator. Now these are all in the synth filter section of the Helix. Um, 
the three note generator is actually going to be able to give you notes as far as, you know, C, E, G, make a, you know, C major triad, the four OSC generator. Now the OSC stands, that's an oscillator. OSC is oscillator. Um, that is simply a component of a synth of just the noise. So if you were to just turn a synth on without a MIDI note or anything and just have it play a note, it has to have an oscillator to provide that note. A Moog, Mini Moog, or a Sub 37, or um, the Minotaur, anything like that, most of those are two oscillator, or three oscillator. So that means they can play three notes at a time, or three um, noise sources at a time. So if you have a four OSC, a four oscillator noise source, you can play four notes or have four different tones going at the same time. We just got real nerdy for a second, but uh, it is definitely worth checking out synthesis. Look up a video on YouTube on basics of synthesis and the oscillator mystery will be completely revealed to you. It's great. So with this, I took these oscillators and if you run them in parallel, you then get six notes running at the same time. I'm using it in this patch today as a three note and I can, I've assigned these to change pitches within the oscillator, just as if these were expression pedals. So just like they're here, but I use expression switches instead. This way, as you heard in the video, I'm able to press down a note and then change the chord within that oscillator so that it never drops out. It literally just takes the note and it goes from, let's see here, what does it go from? A, E, G, so kind of like an open A minor chord, A minor seven chord, and then it changes it to a E minor seven chord, just like the one five and the minor seven. And so if you're playing this on a, you know, on a keyboard or on a guitar, you could play C major, press these in, and it changes this to an E minor seven, so like a three chord, if you want to think of it like that. So then I have another three note oscillator and that's playing an A minor seven or an A minor chord. So this one is A, E, G. So once again, an A minor seven, so one, five minor seven on starting on the A. And then I can change the notes within that to be an F major seven. So I essentially have one, three, and a four chord. So if you can't jam over a one and four, there's something you need to check in your heart as far as a musician and, you know, as a guitar player, especially. I'll do another video on how to play along with something like this, all within the Helix. So if you don't wanna have tracks or you don't have a backing band, but you wanna have something else playing behind you while you solo, this is a great series that I'm gonna do for you. So let's get into the tones of the intro song. Uh, what you heard was a one track performance. That's it. Everything that, uh, you know, tonally that you heard was from one take on the Helix. Using some, you know, the legacy synths in here, kind of getting crazy with it. I'm able to bend notes within the four note oscillator. There's so many fun things you could do with this. I've assigned like a bit crushed and octave verb so I can kind of hit that at times and you hear this little explosion within it really dynamic. Uh, it's kind of, it's for someone who wants to get the Helix off the floor, up on a stand, and you can play this thing like you would a modular synth or a synthesizer. So let's take a listen to the intro video, and then I'll explain a little bit more. All right, here you go.
basically when you turn on one of these three note generators, it just starts playing a note. It starts playing three notes at once. Um, and it can be slightly you know, annoying when you're trying to dial it in or whatnot. So the best thing to do is immediately put some delay and verb after it if you are wanting to experiment with this, just because it makes it sound a little bit more uh, ambient and a little bit more ethereal and things like that. So I'm using also a couple of tricks within the tremolo family and the chorus family within the helix pedals. All in the modulation stuff, there's what's called the beat chop trem? Bleat chop trem. The bleat chop, yeah. Bleat chop trem, the worst name for a pedal ever. And I'm using it as a square wave to get some just movement, as if we were to have a drum sequencer or a note sequencer. You know, you play Cool, that's what it's doing. So go play around with that pedal and just see what the kind of fun things you can do. Because when you send a note into it, it's automatically gonna start chopping the note up. Hence its name, Bleat Chop Trim. After that, there's a really fun uh, chorus trick that n I don't know many people know about. Um, on the actual Helix Line 6 chorus, you have a wave shape selector. Well, if you go to random on that all the way to the right, and you turn the depth all the way up, you get these weird glitches um, from a chorus pedal because it's trying to decide whether it wants to do a nice easy sine wave, a triangle wave, or a straight up square wave, or some weird step thing. It, it doesn't know what it's doing. It's all random. So between those two, that's where you're getting a lot of that ex uh, extra movement, and that's where you're getting a lot of the excitement from just the one note. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole series on this. I'm looking forward to this series. This one's for that, you know, for the, you know, noise maker. I'm gonna do one for a simple playback rig to where you have chord changes that you can play guitar over. I'm gonna do one for straight up bass notes that you can play on top of if you are a um, guitarist and vocalist. So we can put vocals and guitar and have something that you can select what note you want being played under you while you sing and play guitar. And the Helix can do all of that effortlessly. So hopefully this video inspired you to just start digging into some of the pedals that maybe you've never used before, maybe that you didn't know were in the Helix or that this thing could even do. It's gonna be a fun series and you're not gonna wanna miss a single video. So hit subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be the first to know as soon as I put up new videos on this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Back in there. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, until next time, later.